I um, got a call from a police detective uh, who was investigating the concern I had about the police seemed to be scolding me that one incident she said she's only focusing on that one incident that I, I had concern showed concern about expressed concern about the officer was scolding me and uh, I was and then the, the always obviously biased in her favor and uh, so she, so she was saying I explained how it seemed obvious like the money motivation of it since scamming is so uh, lucrative so it's easy, so easy to make such fast money you don't have to put effort into it and uh, like she gets off on hurting people so she gets money doing that uh, hurting people with gaslighting threatening them with her friends threatening with lawsuit and uh, all these techniques she does and then use the triangulating with the police and since she's she's I've heard like she's trying to get, get millions of dollars she keeps telling everybody she's got so much evidence on the phone which is what she does her purpose in moving in is to collect evidence with a phone, everything legally that that uh, registers as something she can uh, pull money for, and then um, uh, and then so she keeps provoking and irritating and doing all these horrible things that are you know you you think if someone wants to mess with you and then the whole intent is to say things, make sounds with her mouth repeatedly, cuss at the dog, all these different techniques she has to mess with you. And that's her career, right? She has so much expertise. How many people she's done this to? And then use the police along with... And then the police detective on the second floor at once talked to on, uh, said the exact same words that she used. The gaslighting statement. Everything. Everybody's okay but you. If you have a problem but everybody, then everybody's okay. The problem is you. That's a gaslighting um uh, thing that the fact that he's in line with her makes it uh, um, uh, um, thing. Hey, hey. So uh, makes it makes it um, uh, what it is makes it so obvious they're working together. They're obviously working together. They're supporting. That's how the video shows. Uh, they're scolding me for me just being off there in my front yard, and then she called them. Uh, so. So, and then, so she says, so I explained to her because of frivolous lawsuits are so, uh, uh, make so much money for lawyers and all the, the, the criminals, I'm going to say scumbags, scams, scammers, scumbags, uh, 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 you know, grizzlers, squatters, uh, and then like all the people who get you to sign a contract and then say, well, you signed it, it says this, and I didn't give you anything, but you signed it, you got to give me money. You, gotta give, you signed it, you're going to give me more. That just happened to me recently. So there's so much money in that, there's, in suing frivolous lawsuits, combining it with uh, a scam operation, the tenant uh, scams, it's, you move in, and then so you have, you, by law, you have to stay there. There's no provision in it that if they notice he's obviously doing a scam then it, the, the the tenant protection law shouldn't be enforced you notice she's only there she has lots of places to go she's just using the dog as an excuse to come there and 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 then it, the dog since it's just an excuse it's keep being abused it's being yelled at and being left alone for days and then so since I had bonded with the dog, I was, uh, you know, because I was hearing the same yelling. I had, we had bought the dog together. I paid for the dog shots, the dog chip, uh, dog uh, vet bills. Um, so I consider that I'm, when the dog loves me, I love the dog. We, we have the same, we share the same trauma of having her, the whole her yelling at us the entire time since the dog was a puppy. So she was saying that the excuse is no place would accept the dog. I accept the dog. I keep the dog. I'll take care of the dog. As long, you know, if she would just kindly leave and stop this cruelty she's done on me and my girlfriend. And my girlfriend had to leave because of this. 
because we couldn't find a safe place to go to and then so she just had to help us put on a bus alone uh, to go back to South Carolina you see because then she also her dog had died while the police were there not bothering to check the standing order so having said that so uh, the the um, the um, detective was, tell, was telling her so that this is happening because there's money in it so since there's so much money in it the lawyers who get rich off of it and the people who get rich off of it make sure the provisions aren't in there that prevent uh, you know the, the, the scamming that I talked about uh, they want to keep it the way it is so they can make money with it and they, they also get the support of the police right and then, so she goes, well, I see it differently, she goes. She goes, when you're a landlord for a tenant, there's certain things you, you should do, she says. So I ask her, what are you talking about? What is it that I should do that I didn't? Then she was saying, well, you were expecting her to pay rent. And I told her it was never about that. I'd never pressured her to pay rent. She wasn't paying anything. If anything, I was paying her. We were giving her rides, middle of the night, we were helping out everything she asked for, and then some. And then I said, so what was the point you were making that she refused to do say anymore? So, so, and then when I asked, uh, you know, what is the other side of it? You see another justification why the police are helping her. Is there anything, because I my my thinking is that they she lied to them I mean I'm obviously here they're lying to, to them all the time but I'm thinking there's a secret lie that they know that I don't know perhaps that's justifying them supporting her other than they're getting uh, you know so they're in bed with the criminals which is an obvious thing otherwise this couldn't get done this couldn't get done unless the law was the way it was and the police were helping them get done and they had all these techniques of blocking communication one of them is I can't tell you why you know we back her up until the investigation is over the whole point of the investigation is to find out why they're backing up and she says okay so let's do it your way that's the same thing uh, uh, Bill Clinton's press secretary kept saying when they were asking him about the blowjob Bill Clinton got from Monica Lewinsky, they kept saying, we can't tell you until the investigation is over. In the middle of an investigation, we can't tell you, which is what they say when I want to cover up that he was going to blowjob for. So who in that police department, I guess all of them, all of the ones that come in there and, 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 then, and then be horrible to me. I've seen them flirting the police always be really flirting with them when I'm talking to me well, we don't have time we have to go something else we don't have time to this but they enjoy flirting with her having such a, and then so she needs their help they enjoy flirting with her uh, and then so and then I keep hearing everybody's telling her she's so, so attractive put two and two together she needs their help they like flirting with her they're helping her out so flirting you know, push comes to shove, shove comes to love, right? It would make sense if she's doing extra favors for them. She does do extra favors for everything, for drugs. So, and this is newest scum now. Everybody walking around with a, with a sign saying, I'm having something. Hi. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I can't help. Yeah, so this is the newest thing. Everybody's running some scam, so nobody trusts anybody and then nothing gets done and everybody's isolated and people get hurt and then the people you go to for the for the hurt they themselves are running other scams that that you know the lawyers investigators uh therapists you know healers psychics everybody's in on it so everybody's getting hurt everybody's robbed because of this thing because there's money in it Wake up America, huh? Wake up America.